I hope you're all well. Today we are going to two different charity shops. The first one is the Solfation Army Charity Shop. It's fairly new in the area that I live. It's got two floors to it. I've been there before, but I did take my little one with me. And you know what it's like when you take them shopping. They're bored, they're tired, they're hungry until they get to the toy section and then they come alive. But today I don't have him. He is with his dad. If you don't know by now, I'm a solo parent. So every other weekend, my child goes and spends the weekend with his dad. So I'm child free, which is to cut with cleaning and shopping and ironing and washing. But hey, the life of a mother. But I am not taking him with me to the shop. So it means I can have a look around and I thought I would take you with me. Um, so I don't know what this one is like really. I never really got to have a good look around. So let's go and see what they've got. So that I'm going there with my mum. And then the second one I'm going to is a charity shop that is attached to our local animal shelter, which mainly look after dogs and cats, but they do have birds and rabbits and guinea pigs and all those other animals as well. And all the proceeds from that animal shelter, from that charity shop, sorry, go to the animal shelter. This charity shop is one of my favorites in the area. It's good bargains, it's good stuff. They're really kind, really helpful, and it goes to such a good cause like all charity shops do but i love animals uh so this one's like i love animals anyone else like a big animal fan so that's the two shops we're going to today and i thought i would take you along with the journey uh the last one the charity shop for the animal shelter doesn't open till 11 o'clock i'm usually an early person i like to get out get what i need done and then get back um but, you know, I have to go a little bit later than I usually do. But I've got a few bits to do first. So let's get to the first charity shop. Okay, so here we are at the Salvation Army charity shop. There's Mother. Uh, it was quite loud in there and really busy. So I thought I'd just do a quick voiceover as we go through the charity shops. Downstairs is all the furniture. So they had these two sofas. Um, this one um, was only £145. And this one uh, was really, really nice. I really liked this one. Um, not so much keen on the cushions, though. Uh, and then there was this chair here for £30. You can't really see in here, but it was pink. They also had these units here as well. This was only £40. Great if you're going to be doing some upcycling. They also had this recliner chair as well, which is all in working conditions. I heard somebody asking about them. Um, and this was only £120. So really good deals in the furniture. This nice uh, dresser, um, very old fashioned for my liking and lots of frames. Then we come into a lot of bric-a-brac. Uh, there was loads of it, lots of plates and um, cups and saucers and all those things. If you are just starting out or you're a student but moving into halls or whatever, this is absolutely a great place to pick things up. Love that basket, should have picked it up for Christmas. We also had this uh, chest of drawers for £25. Did have a few marks on it, uh, but great if you're good at upcycling. Back to the bric-a-brac here. Again, lots and lots of cups, uh, lots of ornaments as well. Uh, these are absolutely great if you want to do like a Christmas present, a DIY Christmas present. That was a really good bargain, those jars pot kettles um not kettles sorry teapots lots of lovely little ornaments if you know someone that loves collecting all those things again charity shops are absolutely great to go to when you are looking to do a diy christmas present um they had this plate that um reminds me of my grandparents and there were so many cups like lots of different cups so if you wanted to do um a hot chocolate mug for christmas or something like that great place to go and get them buttons button jars did anybody have these when they were a kid or is it an age thing my mum had this massive jar and we used them to play my dad teaching us card games and stuff it was amazing great memories lots of glasses as well they had this puzzle this was actually a game not a puzzle sorry a lego game that i've never seen before it was eight pounds so i didn't really want to buy it for my little one but has anybody ever seen anything like that before because i haven't loads and loads of games for family night so if you want to do a big family night and get old school board games charity shops are great for those thing those uh, kind of things 
and puzzles. Can't guarantee all the pieces are there, but it was puzzle upon, pu upon puzzle upon puzzle. It was absolutely puzzle heaven if you are a jigsaw lover like myself. Also, you had lots and lots of books. So if you love to read, charity shops are a great place to grab some books. Um, and they're only like 50p to a pound a book. Um, hardly anything. It's just amazing. We then had these red chairs, these four red dining chairs, and they were £90 for all four of them. Um, and there was nothing wrong with them. Needed a bit of a scrub. We then moved upstairs into the clothes and they had all sorts of clothes from men to women to children and they had everything in sections toward the trousers. But then they had like swimming costumes. I just felt a bit icky buying a swimming costume for a charity shop. Maybe that's just me. What about you? Let me know. Lots of skirts and dresses and things like that. They also had them all in size order, which was easy to find. There was things that I liked but they never had it in my size unfortunately and the things that I didn't like was in my size uh, then they had all these shoes loved those shoes wanted those trainers didn't have my size um loads of sandals flip-flops wedges going out shoes work shoes and they ranged from about two pound to five pound depending on what you were getting did like that bag but knew I wouldn't really use it loads of little bags as well those shoes were very, very shiny for me, maybe when I was like 18, 19 maybe, but not at 40. Then you had these gold shoes and there was tons of them. It was just shoes upon shoes upon shoes. So yeah, so if you, I did like these ones. They were £4.50, I think. But again, they were a size six and I'm only a size five. So couldn't buy those. But I think I'm going to go back there for the shoes for my holiday in Butlins just to get some cheap shoes. So if they get ruined, it's not the end of the world. Moving on to the men's section, they had uh, trousers and jeans all together, all in size order. Um, I'm not with anybody, so was lost upon me. But if you have a partner and you're on a budget, this is a great place to go and get some cheap clothes. Um, or for yourself, if you're a man watching this, welcome. Um, then, you know, this is a great place to go. Lots of shirts as well. I remember my ex-husband um has a hawaiian shirt for his stag do before we got married obviously but you know these are great for stag do's if you want something cheap something that you're not going to spend loads of money on polo shirts and t-shirts if you're on a budget if things are really tight for you with the cost of living go to a charity shop get your jumpers get your trousers they're really easy. Just give them a wash when you go home. I'm sure they're clean, but, you know, just for your own. Love the jacket. If I had a man, I would buy that jacket. I loved it. Um, bit too big for me, unfortunately. There was that pram. I did want to show you that, but um, a pregnant lady was looking at it, so I didn't want to intrude. Had this good chest, which is really deep. It was only £10. I just didn't like the wicker, but if you do, then this is great. Look how deep that is. For £10 and it's really heavy as well. So if you've got kids, great storage for toys. A few little kiddie bath bits here. Now this dollhouse was beautiful. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Reminds me of when I was a kid, even though I wasn't really a doll person, but look how wonderful that is. And this was only £60 for the dollhouse. Absolutely amazing. Lots of different children's books of all different ages that you could you could pick up. I think they were like 20p. And they had this seating area that kids could sit and read their books while you're shopping. Great, great idea. A few little teddies and there's a little horse there. Um, there's this horse, ride along horse thing that actually does make a noise, um, apparently. Some soft toys and some other little bits and pieces, especially for the little ones. Now we're into the children's toys. This was really good for the children's toys because they separated it. So this is more like the baby and toddler area. Uh, a few little bits for slightly older um, children. Um, and then again, we have puzzles and games galore. It was everywhere. So 
again fantastic to keep the kids occupied uh, throughout the summer if you don't want them stuck on the t on the tablets or the tv get them a board game get them a puzzle again we've got more puzzles more games more science experimental things as well for the kids to do which i thought was absolutely fantastic there were some pencil cases there as well to go back to school in september um and again it was lots of um toys for girls and boys lots of puzzles lots of games honestly you could go in there and spoil your kids rotten for a fraction of the cost that you would go into the toy shop um, and it will keep them so entertained and so busy there were some rucksacks there as well so yeah this was the salvation army charity shop obviously we've got some kids clothes there unfortunately the clothes that were good for my little one was too big for him or too small for him so this is the animal shelter um charity shop we're at now obviously you've got all the dog beds and the dog crates and stuff like that you also have got all the plant pots which is great especially with this weather and get out in the garden you got some other bits and pieces that aren't charity shop that you actually do buy full price for, but it all goes towards the animal shelter, which is great. So lots of dog bowls and coats, loads and loads of dinner sets. Again, if you're just starting out, if you just got your first place, great place to go for plates and all that kind of stuff is a charity shop. All these frames are from 50p to £1.50. Again, some of them look brand new, fantastic if you want to give a photo over for Christmas or birthdays, go and get the frame. Little LPs if you still got a, a record player. And obviously with summer coming, the wedding season is upon us. They had lots of hats, lots of fascinators, all those kind of things and shoes and everything else for weddings if you are struggling. Again, games galore, puzzles galore. Great for family nights, guys. But great for family nights to just get away from the screen obviously watch my videos, you know, because you love me. Um, but otherwise, you know, this is a great idea for kids. More photos um, and pictures, but you can just buy the picture and then take the picture out and just use the frames because some of these frames were really, really nice. Um, so yeah, so this is um, the photos. It, this is the dressing room, the changing area, sorry. They had a few mirrors that you could buy as well. So this is now the female clothes side and these were some wacky trousers, not really my thing, but if you're into all this, it would be absolutely perfect for you. Um, so yeah, they were really bright colors. I know bright colors are in at the moment, so this would be a really good idea to go to a charity shop and see what you can find. Um, and lots of summery tops and wintry tops getting ready for this winter coming, even though we feel like we've just come out of it, right? Especially if you're in the UK. Um, so yeah, it was absolutely quite cheap. They had the list on there of what everything was rather than individually priced things. They just had the list. So you've got shorts, skirts, trousers, um, all of those. Then we come on to the books. They've got a great book section. You can buy any two books for a pound. Um, and you, I've spent a lot of money <laughs> in this section before. Unfortunately, there was nothing I wanted this time. And plus my TBR uh, books is just insane so I didn't think I wanted to buy any books but they got all their novels and then on the other side they had all their cookery books and any personal development books um the cooking books are really good so I was looking for a plant-based one but they didn't really have any that um I really was drawn to and then you've got like coding books and learning things um so if you wanted to learn something new, go to the library and pick up, not to the library, you can go to the library, of course, but go to a charity shop and find a book um, and then learn from the book. Um, you've also got lots of autobiographies here if you like that as well. CDs and DVDs, 10p each now because no one watches them or listens to CDs anymore. Oh, back in the 80s, it was all the thing. And now we have obviously the bags and some shoes, men and women's shoes. So a good range of different things here. Um, there were some nice shoes, but the shoes in the other charity shop uh, just were much better, really. Uh, nice bags here, got this nice green bag. And I did like this brown bag. I think it was like £4.50 or 5 50 I can't really remember. I'm sure it's on there. 
a six pound so neither but it was nice nice big bag especially you've got kids and you've got to carry everything of theirs and yours in um and then you've got the kids clothes here as well again a wide range the only thing i didn't like it wasn't in size order so it did take a little bit of going through and seeing what was there more games here especially for the little ones uh let, oh just noticed that where's wally i should have picked that one up um yeah and then you've got baby toys as well to, um, so there's a, a big range of things as for, for all ages of kids, really. I know that my little one would have loved that car if I took him, which is why I didn't take him. Um, and then we've got books, books and books. So these books are great because you can go from little baby books all the way up to like teenager books as well and i had all these disney books so if you're a disney fan and want to get your kids into disney do check your local charity shop on the other side there were uh men's clothes again it was all listed there how much things were and these were all the dresses there were some beautiful dresses there if you're going to a wedding and you're on a budget go to a charity shop and have a look at their dresses they are nice more bric-a-brac um they had the um smellies there these are great for christmas gifts for, for people as well so you know do do think about your local charity shop for christmas gifts and putting things together okay so i'm back from the charity shop everything kind of just went a little bit wrong today got back from the charity shop about to uh, show everything that i bought i didn't actually buy a lot but i will get to it in a moment Oh, but then my mum started cutting the grass and then went over the wire on the lawnmower and then we had to go and get a new lawnmower and oh. It's been a day. It's been a day. But hey, everything is sorted. All is good. So now I can get round to showing you what I bought at the charity shop today. Um, one thing is pretty awesome. Let's get into it. Okay, so first uh, my mum got this beautiful uh, blue scarf. Um, I think it's like feathers on it or something. She loves these kind of really light weighted scarves here. Um, I don't know if she left the price on, she did. So this was uh, two pound and this was from the uh, Salvation Army charity shop. So it's quite nice. I mean, it's my mum's style. It's, it's quite pretty, not really my kind of thing personally, but my mum likes it and that's all that matters. So my mum got that. Um, in the animal shelter one, there's this Ronald Dahl uh, whiz popping joke book. Um, my little boy absolutely loves Ronald Dahl. We've got all his books, um, and we, we didn't we didn't have this. I didn't know this was around. So I've got this for him for when he comes back. Um, so there's some really awful jokes in there but for a little boy this is going to be hilarious so he's going to absolutely love this book um and then i got this horse um no one of these horse please excuse the mess i haven't tied it up yet um so my little one wants to be a cowboy um sorry about that bang um and i think it makes noise or maybe it doesn't or maybe I'm thinking, maybe, oh, I don't know. Anyway, so he keeps thinking he wants to be a cowboy. So I thought, oh, I'll just get this for him. And then he can pretend to be a cowboy. And this was uh, £3.50. And I think this was also from the Salvation Army. So those are the little tiny things that we got. But I did get this. I mean, look at it. This was £10 as seen with the basket. So the basket alone is just beautiful isn't it i mean look at that basket how old do i feel right now by getting excited about a basket it's so oh it's like country i feel like country on a bike little red riding herd carrying her cakes oh it's just amazing so anyway then this um all this baking stuff as well was inside the inside the basket and it was everything for 10 pound 10 pounds so we've got some uh, cutters here look at the size of these cutters um some flower cutters some a, a ginger girl a ginger woman um look at these little mini loafings and they're silicone as well so oh that's going to be awesome some of these things here i think if i ride the look of this these are the disney cookbooks remember you could buy them um i don't really know what that is what's that if anybody knows what this is, please let me know. Because I haven't got a clue. So let me know what that is. Okay. Um, one of these, uh, I guess that's like a cake scraper. 
So it shows that I'm not really a cake cook, cake bake. Look at these, there's so many squares, circles, ovals, stars. We've got some hearts in there too. They're going to be great to make little chocolate molds and put chocolate on the top of things. Uh, we've got another flower. We've got a bit of a, a medium-sized loaf tin as well. I mean, that's going to be that's going to be cool. Okay. Um, some number cutters. See, this is why I think these are Mickey Mouse or some Disney because I had these when I did that as well. These little cups. Oh, these are going to be so so good. Little molds. Ooh. My brain's ticking, my brain's ticking. Some more cutters, but they're square cutters. So that's really good. And star cutters as well. And I love the fact that they're plastic, so you haven't got to, especially having little ones around. You know, these are much safer for them to cut. They're not gonna hurt their hands so much. Never flower. Um, these, I don't really know what kind of shape these are, but I wanna say these look more like Christmassy trees. Christmassy trees, Christmas trees. So, I'm not really sure, but they look cool. Whatever they are, they look cool. A ginger person. Is that the right way of saying it? A ginger person. Um, I know that's something to do with cakes, but maybe, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't know what it is. Another flower. And then we've got these pie dishes, these silicone pie dishes as well. So, three, four, five, six of those. I mean, look at them. I mean, they're not big, but they're really great to have, like, make little pies and you can freeze three freeze them and they're in silicone as well which is my favorite look at the size of these big cupcakes look at the size of those they are amazing so how many do we get of those one two three four of them four of them and look at all these i mean these cost quite a lot of money in on amazon i think they're like 450 for six or eight and look how many <laughs> oh little more oval things there Look how many we've got. This is insane. Uh, some hearts. That'd be great for... I've got nieces, so that'd be great to bake with them. And flowers and all sorts of stuff. Cookie cutters. Um, a, oh, God. I can't get that out. A butterfly cutter as well. I'm going to go into the basket now to show you. Because it's just so much. Some little hearts. Some heart cutters as well. Look, more of these. God, there's absolutely tons. Some more cutters. All different sizes. I mean, these are going to be amazing. I love the fact that they're all plastic. Little butterflies. And look, you've got little mini heart silicone things, um, cases as well. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. Okay, so more of these little circle things. Obviously, I'm going to give these an extremely good wash. And then you've got smaller little cupcake cases, and there are absolutely loads. And these are just the round ones. You've got the stars as well. I mean, look at them. I mean, please, am I, is it just me, or is this like an, an amazing find? This is an amazing find, especially like if you were a real baker, this would be, this would be Christmas every day. I mean, look at these stars here. I've got stars, I've got more circles. Um, oh, are these like imprint things? Imprint leaves, it's gonna be great in the autumn, aren't they? They'll be fantastic in the autumn. Another person, that's a bit odd. I've not seen one like that before. I would give it a go, we'll see what it does. Look at these stars, silicone things. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, look, you can, these are like little punches. Are they little punches? Is that what they're called? You can tell I'm no baker. Little tiny punches. So we've got that. These, I'm guessing, like you put on cakes and put sugar, icing sugar or something over the top to make a, a print on the cake. We're almost there, guys. Okay, some butterfly cutters as well. And there's a double, it's a double one. So isn't that so cute? And then whatever this is whatever that is, I don't know what that is, but look at this basket, isn't that just a beautiful, beautiful basket, that alone I would have paid 10 quid for, and I bought that, and all of this baking stuff, I mean it's all hidden underneath, I haven't displayed it very well, all of, all of this was 10 pound, amazing.